It's a summer morning in mid-July. The university where thousands of students attend is quiet. That's until 37-year-old Edward Alloway walks into the library's university carrying a 22 caliber semi-automatic rifle. The Michigan native moved to Southern California in early 1973 and accepted a custodial position in 1975. A year later, the former Marine walks into a local store like this and buys a rifle, carrying out one of Orange County's single worst killing spree. On the morning of July 12, 1976, at about 8.30, Alloway opens fire as he walks through the library. His five-minute rampage leaves seven people dead and two wounded. Among the dead was Frank Teplinaski, a graphic artist who worked for 11 years in the media center. In 2006, the daughter of Frank Teplinaski, Patricia Almazon, visited Alloway at the Patton State Hospital to ask why he killed her father. I really don't have a whole lot of answers. When I took the scan, I gave every bit of information that I could remember and what I was aware of. And unfortunately, it's, it's not satisfying. 35 years later, even some students on campus are unaware of the shooting. Honestly, I don't know anything for the fact that I wasn't even born, I think, at that time. So, yeah. I don't know very much, but as far as I can recall, it's, I think, like a janitor had a shotgun, went up to the sixth floor and just started shooting everyone because he thought that his wife was cheating on him. Alloway has been instituted at the Patton State Hospital since 1995. Last year, his petition to be released to outpatient status was denied, showing he isn't ready to reemerge into the community. For The Daily Titan, I'm Blanca Canales.